Hi guys! In this release, we will talk about an unusual flying wind generator, a first solar-powered car, a bulletproof battlefield helmet, and several other equally interesting inventions. Let's go! Alteros Bat Flying Wind Generators the peculiarity of the generator is that it's actually a 65.6 foot in diameter aerostat with a three blade rotor inside, the housing of which is built around a wind turbine. Due to helium, the apparatus rises to the required altitude where the wind currents are not only stronger but also more stable. Work at an altitude of 984 feet above the ground has its advantages. The wind speed at this height is two to three times higher than at the surface and more steady. In addition, in case of a sudden increase in wind speed, an automatic system is activated, lowering the airship to the ground in order to minimize potential damage. Also, due to mobility and high deployment speed, generators can be used in emergency fields since electricity can be supplied to rescue centers in a matter of hours. Optical Illusions most recently in Iceland, a very unusual technology for intimidating the drivers was used to compel traffic rules. As stated, the government of Iceland got tired of asking drivers to be careful on the roads and started to deceive their eyes and minds. This authoritative method consists of creating on the roadway unusual visual illusions that look as though there are concrete barriers right in the middle of the road in front of you. According to the Icelandic government, since persuasion and fines do not work, drivers should be forced to abruptly reduce speed before pedestrian crossings. Also, according to the developers of such methods, the technology of visual illusion works just fine, reducing the accident rate at the crossroads by at least 30% and a maximum of 50%. DevTac Ronin is a bulletproof battlefield helmet. The helmet has a very futuristic look and completely protects the face of the fighter. It consists of several armored modules fastened together by means of neodymium magnets. Lenses made of laminated polycarbonate provide a wide viewing angle of at least 160 degrees. The inner part of the helmet is lined with special cushioning material. The item actually looks like science fiction. It has an air conditioning system to protect from overheating and gases, as well as a friend or foe device that captures signals from other users and helps see an ally. To fight in the darkness, there is an infrared setting that uses heat-seeking technology to help pinpoint enemies. The helmet has been offered to law enforcement organizations. According to the developing company, now a protective battlefield accessory is being tested by specialized police units. Vahana Increasing motorization leads to deterioration in traffic despite the expansion of road infrastructure. It is assumed that, for example, hyperloop-type vacuum systems and popularization of unmanned vehicles can minimize congestion. Airbus introduced the concept of its urban air taxi named Vahana. It will be manufactured as per the scheme of the Converto plane with front and rear rotating wings. The wing console is planned to be equipped with two electric motors with air screws. In June 2017, a company demonstrated the model of Vahana's multi-C analog Alpha demonstrator with its technical solutions that will be used in a full-fledged prototype. The model has successfully passed flight tests. By now, the developers have also conducted tests of full-size propellers. With a cruising speed of 74.5 miles per hour, the copter can cover a distance of up to 37.3 miles on one charge. The weight of the device will be 2.2 tons. The company intends to launch the pre-production version of the vehicle in 2022 to 2023. Scion is the world's first solar battery-fed car. The case of Scion is almost completely covered with solar panels. In total, eight engineers managed to place 330 individual photocells on the car, strong enough to withstand various weather conditions and other adverse environmental conditions. Initially, it was planned to release two versions of the car with battery capacities of 14 and 30 kilowatt hours. In the first case, the range will be about 62 miles, and in the second, 250 miles. However, the pre-orders were being made only to the older model, so it was decided to discontinue the new one. 
Built-in batteries are equipped with a quick recharging system which top them up to 80% in just 40 minutes. If you use solar panels for recharging, the process will take about 8 hours. The car will be on sale in several European countries at a price of 16,000 euros or about 20,000 US dollars. Scarabane is a folding house that collects the energy of the sun and wind for a completely autonomous life in the wild. The concept of a completely non-volatile house is based on the idea that everything necessary for the functioning of household systems can be received from the energy of the sun. Housing arrives at the installation site in the form of a 26-inch long container, after which it is unpacked by efforts of one person in 30 minutes. There is a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and an open veranda with a pull-out tent. The entire structure is placed on a movable base and rotates independently after the sun, following the commands of the light sensors. The system of collecting solar energy in a folding house is perhaps the most progressive in the world. A parabolic 64-square-foot folding mirror directs the light onto the heating elements, providing the entire system with free hot water for the shower, toilet, and kitchen. There is also a retractable wind generator pole as well as a prototype of an autonomous rainwater collection and purification system. OHO Nowadays, one of the global problems of the planet is the problem of providing people with drinking water. Among other things, there is also an issue with the transportation of water to remote regions. This new invention will not only solve these problems but will permanently change hydration. Now water will not be drunk, but eaten. In fact, OHO is a water ball created by freezing water and then encapsulating it in a gel membrane of calcium chloride and brown algae. As a result, they get an edible gelatinous mass. Now water can be literally eaten. The ball has no lid, so you need to drink small bubbles in one or several sips. The inventors of the project argue that OHO can be made at home, with the size of the drop being absolutely up to the consumer. Additionally, you can put both water and juice into the innovative biodegradable container. Waymo Waymo reported that its fully autonomous taxi is finally ready. According to the developer's press center, the autonomous taxi service is coming very soon. Of course, we're talking about large U.S. cities, where the service will appear first. The development of unmanned taxis began eight years ago. Since then, robotic cars have traveled more than three million miles under the close supervision of drivers. All this allowed not only the training of the autopilot on how to work under different conditions, but also to test it for strength. In addition to the usual trips, the autopilot was tested on a simulator by which it traveled millions of virtual miles a day. Until now, all tests were conducted by the operator who was inside the cabin and controlled all the actions of unmanned vehicles. But recently, testing began to take place without their participation. The company reports that ordinary citizens will be able to order an unmanned taxi in the next few months. Microwind Returning from another prolonged hike, German designer Niels Ferber was disappointed by how quickly his smartphone was losing energy. He decided to create a portable travel charger capable of working around the clock thus making it different from solar panels. The unfolding of the wind turbine is caused by the installing of the telescopic axis, pulling up of the flexible material on the sail-shaped blades and tighteners reminiscent of a tent setup. Vertical installation will allow you to catch the wind from any direction automatically, enabling use even at nighttime. At the moment, this portable charging device for hikes has a weight of less than 2.2 pounds, which is 40% less than the weight of similar products. During the designing process, the basic primary factors taken into account were low weight, compact size, and ease of use. Flesby is a rubber car. The concept, developed by Toyota Gose, in the future can set a new standard of safety due to the dynamically changing volume of its body, able to adapt to different situations. The body of the car will be covered with bubbles, external airbags, and will be made of e-rubber, which will change shape under the influence of electrical current. The idea is that under the green translucent inserts, LEDs will be placed, used to display information for other drivers and pedestrians. 
A part of the interior is also made of similar material, which, if necessary, will wrap the driver or passengers protecting them from damage or allowing them to sleep comfortably during a rest stop. So guys, is there anything worthy in this release? Please write in the comments. Thank you for watching us, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel in order to follow our upcoming videos. See you next time!